Remember that tonight at 11 o'clock, the battle for Earth reaches a climax. Will Robin Maxwell's half-alien baby provide an answer to the destruction of the invaders? V tonight at 11 o'clock on London Weekend Television. Tomorrow on ITV, a wild party in Malibu. The natives at play. Oh, come on, Linda. Enjoy. I intend to. May I have my husband back, Miss Hessian? I told you to stay away from him. Hiya. How you doing? Join the action. Join the wild party in Malibu tomorrow on ITV. Who is that guy? Oh, Oscar, keep the juices flowing. The fun's just beginning. Now the weather forecast for the London weekend television area. The night will be dry with clear periods as temperatures fall to around 14 degrees centigrade, 57 Fahrenheit. It will become rather misty in places later. On Saturday there will be sunny intervals and showers, the best of the sunshine being during the morning, with showers most likely during the afternoon or early evening. Highest temperature similar or a little higher than Fridays, around 20 degrees centigrade, 68 Fahrenheit. There will be a light southerly breeze. The outlook for Sunday some sunny periods and scattered showers. Next this evening, following the London news headlines, the Square Mile. MFI. Two great new kitchen and bedroom centres now open in Sutton and New Malden. That's two great opening sales with thousands of exclusive offers, like systematic kitchen and bedroom units, 55 to 75 percent off, and hygiene relief bedroom chests and wardrobes at 70 percent off. Meet William Roach tomorrow, 10 a.m. St. Nicholas Road, Sutton, 12 o'clock, Blagden Road, New Malden. Sail on now. Many reasons have been given for Benjamin Disraeli's rise to power in 1868. His friendship with Queen Victoria. His flair for fashion. His, no, the arrival of Carlsberg that year must surely have been a mere coincidence. Carlsberg, probably the best lager in the world. Happiness is a cigar called Hamlet, the mild cigar. Come to Margate and to Bem Bomb Brothers Amusement Park. Pay once as you enter and all the rides are free all day. Like the Pirate, the Looping Star, the Mary Rose and spectacular new rides for this season. Ask at your local southern station for the bargain train admission ticket to Bem Bomb Brothers Amusement Park, Margate. Open daily. Where shall we go tomorrow? The Tower of London. With a cheap day return on the tube, it's just round the block. If you've got children around the house over the school holidays, be sure and get your TV Times. It's got all the times of the films. Cartoons, quiz shows, adventures, all sorts of programs. There's hours of entertainment for children on ITV and Channel 4 over the holidays. You won't catch me without my TV Times. Well, I've tried it, so I know how hard it is. Really? I enjoy watching the horses, and it's a glamorous sport. It's uh, outrageously dangerous, ridiculously expensive, and very glamorous. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah, it's the horses, I think. It's the horses, cascade, and the trousers. And you never know who's going to be playing. It's polo the stars are raving about. We'll have all the best action from the Coronation Cup. Also, Prince Charles in the Silver Jubilee Cup. World of Sport tomorrow. Good evening. Here are the London news headlines. The two main train unions are calling a 24-hours rail and tube strike in London on Wednesday, September the 12th. 
The NUR and ASLEF say the strike's in protest against proposed job cuts and service reductions, and it will go ahead unless there are meaningful talks with British Rail and London Regional Transport. There's been a wave of armed robberies in the southeast today. At Ponder's End in North London, a gang of four men got away with about £100,000 from a security van after threatening to set fire to staff at a Brook Bonds warehouse. In the city, two robbers, one with a handgun, attacked a security van outside the Midland Bank in Eastcheap and escaped with £10,000. At Stratford in East London, a post office van driver was temporarily blinded when a gunman squirted corrosive liquid into his eyes during a hold-up. And at Warplesdon in Surrey, a masked raider carrying a sawn-off shotgun locked a 71-year-old chemist and his 60-year-old woman assistant into a shop cupboard after stealing thousands of pounds worth of dangerous drugs. A woman charged with murdering her father has been remanded in custody for a week by Watford magistrates. Hospital worker Walter Kine, aged 60, was found dead from stab wounds at his home at Abbots Langley in Hertfordshire last weekend. British Airways, Lufthansa and British Caledonian are introducing new low airfares between London and nine cities in Germany. From October the 1st, the cost of a round-trip trick ticket will drop by about as much as a third. Finally, the RSPCA have given their highest honour to Harrods bomb victim PC John Gordon, who ignored the critical injuries he suffered in the blast to comfort his dying dog, Queenie. Constable Gordon of Chalfont St Peter in Buckinghamshire receives the Margaret Wheatley Medal, only 61 of which have been awarded in the past 40 48 years. Those are the headlines tonight. More from us tomorrow night at midnight. Now the weather forecast for the London weekend television area. The night will be dry and with clear skies it will become quite cool. The temperature will fall to 10 degrees centigrade, 50 degrees Fahrenheit in places. Saturday will be a dry day with quite a lot of sunshine. It will be warmer than Friday with temperatures reaching 22 degrees centigrade, 72 degrees Fahrenheit in the afternoon. Winds light northwesterly. The outlook for Sunday, mainly dry and continuing warm. On Channel 4 in a few moments, Paul Newman stars in Robert Altman's futuristic film, Quintet. That's on Channel 4. Here on London Weekend Television, after the break, the square mile looks at revolutionary changes at the Stock Exchange. Hello, I'm Thompson. I know all about your neighbourhood. It's all in your Thompson local directory. <laughs> Need a plumber? Ask Thompson. A hi-fi shop you can just plug into? <laughs> Ask Thompson. In your Thompson local directory, nothing's more than a few miles away. So, when you want a DIY shop that's really handy, man, <laughs> Ask Thompson. For the local answer, Ask Thompson. For those all-important business meetings, there's always the car. Or, if it's more important, there's the train. And if it's really urgent, what could possibly be quicker than the plane? So, with that amendment, your new figures read like this. So, if it can be said, phone instead.
Martini, the right Bianco. Now from Yardley, an aftershave for men who go for gold. It's cool, fresh, masculine. So think Yardley and go for gold. Come to Margate and to Bem Bomb Brothers Amusement Park. Pay once as you enter and all the rides are free all day. Like the Pirate, the Looping Star, the Mary Rose and spectacular new rides for this season. Ask at your local southern station for the bargain train admission ticket to Bem Bomb Brothers Amusement Park Margate. Open daily. Good evening, here are the London news headlines. A man is being questioned by police about the rape of a 17-year-old girl attacked on a train between Welling and Falconwood last month. There have been 13 rapes on trains and around stations in south-east London over the past two years. An Old Bailey case of over a box of chocolates which has cost the taxpayer more than £6,000 ended today with a woman being fined £50. The jury found Hornsey shop assistant Nomala Ramsamy guilty of stealing £2 paid for the sweets at a kiosk. The one and a half day trial comes just weeks after Lord Chief Justice Lord Lane complained of the number of trivial cases clogging up top courts. 340 jobs are to go at the metal box factory in Clapton. The company says the plant's been running at a loss for five years. Finally, three-week-old heart transplant baby Holly Roffey is still holding her own at the National Heart Hospital. She's officially still on the critical list, but surgeons are hopeful she's overcoming her kidney problems. More at 11.30 tomorrow night. A clear night, but some fog is likely again by the morning. The minimum temperature will be around 13 degrees centigrade, 55 degrees Fahrenheit in the suburbs, and 16 degrees centigrade, 61 degrees Fahrenheit in the city. Saturday will begin dull and rather misty, but the fog will lift and later break to give a good deal of sunshine by the afternoon. The temperature will be a little higher than today, so we'll reach about 26 degrees centigrade, 79 degrees Fahrenheit. The wind will be light and variable, and that's the weather. In a moment, the Square Mile looks at Lloyd's of London, one of the oldest and most successful institutions in the city. The Square Mile, after the break. Come to Margate and try the sensational Looping Star at Bem Bom Brothers Amusement Park, Margate. A world of fun, open daily. Queensway comes to Harlow. Sensational opening offers till Monday only. The stylish new Austin Montego. The first car ever selected to carry the design center label. The Austin Montego. Designed for living. Perfect for driving. I'm just taking my dog for a walk. Toodles, heel. He follows me everywhere, especially when I got a bag of Smith Square crisps. Well, they're not really crisps. They're more of a crunch than a crisp. Do you want one, Tiddles? Actually, Tiddles isn't really a dog. Are you, Tiddles? <laughs> Smith Square crisps. The crisp that isn't a crisp. Every time the loo is used, germs get left behind, so it needs continuous protection. Our tests show Harpic Bleachmatic keeps more germs at bay than a daily dose of liquid bleach. Bleach kills germs in the bowl fast enough, but use the loo a couple of times and they're back. Here's Harpic Bleachmatic, a block of concentrated bleach. Every time you flush, a measured dose of bleach rushes down, killing germs everywhere the water goes for up to six weeks. Harpic Bleachmatic for continuous bleach protection. It's Wembley again, it's Everton against Liverpool again. The FA Charity Shield provides the perfect start for a new football season. See the action on ITV tomorrow night at 10 o'clock.
And now the London news headlines. An employee at a sub-post office at Raynham in Essex has been wounded in the arm by two raiders carrying a handgun and a shotgun who escaped after a hold-up. It was the third armed robbery in the region today. The others were at Manor Park, East London, where a three-man gang spent the night in a bank lavatory before threatening staff and getting away with an undisclosed amount of money. And at Hanger Lane in Ealing, where two men raided a bookmaker's and made off with the day's float. Police Constable John Gordon, the dog handler who lost a leg in the Harrods bomb blast last year, is recovering in hospital in London tonight after having his other leg amputated. He'd been battling for eight months to save the limb. And finally, an Indian nanny walked free from a London court today after explaining that she'd gone shoplifting because her millionaire Arab employer paid her only five pounds a week. Christina Madhais admitted stealing nearly a hundred pounds worth of goods to give away as presents to her employer's children. That's the local news. More tomorrow night after the late film. And now, The Square Mile. The winds will be mainly light northerly. The outlook for Sunday, staying warm and mainly dry. That's the weather. Starting in a moment on Channel 4 is the chilling science fiction film Second, starring Rock Hudson. While here on London Weekend Television after the break is The Square Mile, which this week looks at the futures market. I'm a secret lemonade drinker. Oh, it's... Oh, it's... I'm trying to keep it up, but it's one of those nights. Oh, it's... Oh, it's... Oh, it's lemonade. Lemonade. For those all important business meetings, there's always the car. Or, if it's more important, there's the train. And if it's really urgent, what could possibly be quicker than the plane? So, with that amendment, your new figures read like this. So, if it can be said, phone instead. Great opening sale of the new MFI Kitchen and Bedroom Centre in Staines. Thousands of exclusive sale offers, like systematic kitchen and bedroom units, 55 to 75% off. Hygiene Elite Bedroom Chess and Wardrobe, 70% off. At the new Kitchen and Bedroom Centre, High Street, Staines. Sale on now. Bird's dream topping makes a trifle a trifle happier. A pick up a penguin, a lovely big penguin. When you pick up a pop up a penguin, there's so much more to enjoy. It's bigger, so delicious, chocolate flavor through and through. When you feel a little puppeckish, what's bigger and best for you? A pop up a penguin. To pick up a penguin. When you feel a little puppeckish, pop up a pick up a penguin. I think I'm training harder now than I ever did. I feel like I've got a lot more left in me. And I, I definitely think I can get that world title back. See Charlie Macri take his first step towards that goal, fighting for the European title tomorrow on World of Sport. Eastward, for the first time on British television, is Every Which Way But Loose. Every Which Way But Loose. Baby, Every Which Way But Loose, a British television premiere on LWT tomorrow at 9.15. And now the London news headlines. Good evening. Greenwich Council says it will open a special hostel to cope with a group of teenagers found sleeping rough in sewage pipes and rubbish chutes on its ferrier housing estate. Social workers say the children, some as young as 14, had either run away or been abandoned by their parents. Scotland Yard are still hunting three men whose attempted raid on a bank in Islington was foiled by a quick-thinking employee. The armed, man, the armed men attacked an accountant at the NatWest Bank in Upper Street after lying in wait overnight, but they ran off empty-handed after one of his colleagues spotted signs of a break-in and alerted the police. 
A 72-year-old woman has been raped at a house in North Elt. She'd opened her door to a man asking for a drink of water. He then attacked her before making off with £10 in cash. And the latest news on that major fire at warehouses in Cricklewood that was reported on News at 10 a few minutes ago. The fire service say they're now making steady progress fighting the blaze, but local people are still being evacuated from nearby houses. It's the biggest fire in London for 10 years. Well, that's the London News headlines. There'll be more tomorrow evening at 12.20. But now, the square mile. <laughs> Thank you.